You cut your f***ing lawn three times a week. You only cut the tops. You buy 500 eggs. You go to the same barber for 47 years. You make them cut all the hair off your body. You're f***ing nuts. <laughs> All right, it's Monday at 11 o'clock. You know what time that is. It's the Chaz Palmentary Show time. Got a great show today, as always. I love to talk to people, interesting people. I never worry about how popular somebody is, how many followers they got. I just find interesting people, and I like to talk about them. But before I do that, don't forget, my one-man show is coming up and coming up strong. Uh, ChazPalmentary.net. Again, this is the show before the movie, before the musical. So many people have seen the show, and they say they like it better than the movie and the musical. John, where am I going to be in the next few weeks? Sandy, where are we going to be? Saturday, April 13th, we're going to be at the Robinson Grand, Grand PAC Center in Virginia. Where's next? Saturday, April 20th, we're going to be at the Ocean Casino, Atlantic City. Las Vegas? Las- Wait a minute. I thought Las Vegas. No, Atlantic City. That's right. Atlantic City. Go ahead, Sandy. Okay. Um, Wednesday, uh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, Wednesday, May 8th. Oh, that's a cigar night. I got to tell you, I'm not too happy with the level of service that's I'm getting. That's a cigar night, with. White Plains. Okay. At your restaurant. Go ahead. Saturday, May 18th, the American Music Theater in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Go ahead. Friday, May 31st, the Ridgefield Theater in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Ridgefield Playhouse. Richfield Playhouse. I'm sorry, yes. Good. I have theater. John, you take it from there. You have the rest. Okay. Um, June 9th, you're going to be in Beverly, Massachusetts at the Cobot Theater. Right. And that's as far as we need to go. The rest is on your website. Yeah, when is that cigar night at my restaurant in White Plains? Okay, the cigar night at the restaurant in White Plains is Wednesday, May 8th. Wednesday, May 8th, big cigar night uh, for charity for the NYPD, as we always do. So obviously I was going to introduce him, but this is a man who needs no introduction. The legend, the myth, the man himself, Mr. Sandy Blue Eyes. Sandy, how are you? My brother, thank you for having me back. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. It's my pleasure. Your pleasure. Sandy Blue Eyes, we know all about this maniac. He he is my bodyguard boy. I got a fresh head, right? (laughs) Bobby Falcone is my driver, Sandy, both NYPD retired. Guys, I love to hire NYPD because, you know, they've been around the corner a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, John? They got a little wear and tear around the edges, and that's what I like. So, Sandy, I wanted you on the podcast because we have a big announcement to make here. <laughs> this is a huge announcement. Now, those of you who know Sandy Blue Eyes, we, I mean, I would say, we could say in a nice way that you were a ladies' man, would you say? I, were, I was a bachelor. Oh, here he goes. I was a single bachelor. <laughs> you were a single bachelor. You were a player. Admit it. No player. Oh, I was a single God. bachelor. Sandy says he wasn't a player. I disagree. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I think a man who dates a lot of women is a player. He thinks no. But you know what? That's him. He's crazy. But so what I say, I'm making an announcement here today. Sandy Blue Eyes is off the market. That's correct. That's correct. I'm officially off the market. You're officially off the market. He's in love. You've been dating this woman how long now? 17 months. 17 months. That is a record for you. That's correct. 17 months. Um... We can't say her name. We won't say her name because we don't need to. Because too many women are going to find out who she is and they're going to write her. (laughs) They're going to write her saying, how dare you take Sandy Blue Eyes off the market? Uh, She's a Brooklyn girl. She can handle herself. She can handle herself. Okay. A Brooklyn girl can handle themselves. That's right. That is very true. So, Sandy, I want to know. I want to know. How did this happen with this woman? How? How did you meet? What's going on here? I was on a set of uh, Gravesend. That's right. You did a few episodes. I did a few episodes on Gravesend. Good. And uh, this very nice young fella came over to me 
And he said, uh, you're Sandy Blue Eyes. And I said, yes. He says, I see you on uh, Chaz's TikTok and Instagram right. and podcast. He says, I love the way you handle yourself. And uh, he says, I, I love the way you dress. You very seem like you're very respectful. Right. And he was, uh, he was an extra in my, one of my scenes. Right. So we shot the scene. And then after the scene, we broke to eat. And he wanted to, he asked me if he could sit and have lunch with me. I said, sure. So we sat down and he asked me a couple of questions. And I was saying, wow, this young fella is asking me so many questions. Okay. And then all of a sudden, he put his food down and he says to me, I made up my mind. And I says, what's that? He says, uh, I'd like to introduce you to my mom. Wow. Yeah. And now it, that's very rare. I said to my, I was very taken back. I says, you know, usually a young fellow would say, stay away from my mother. Absolutely. You know? And then you know, I asked him a few personal questions before I, you know, showed my interest. <clears throat> and uh, everything was great. Then he showed me a picture of her. And I says to him, I would love to meet her. Absolutely. I says, well, we're going to do this old school. So he had one of these up-to-date uh, phones. Right which I'm getting soon, but that's another story. Yeah, that's a whole other episode. Go ahead. So uh, <clears throat> I told him he should take a, a selfie of him and I, send it to his mom, and if she thought that I was her type, then he, he would have to ask permission if I can have a phone number, and then I'll take it from there. And that's exactly what he did, and she said, yes, I would love to meet him. And that was, uh, that was October 25th, 2021. I was on the road with you a lot. She was very busy mm -hmm. in her job and uh, took us about 10 months, 12 months to get together. So we got together on uh, October 12th, 2022. Hmm. And it's been fantastic. It's been great. It's been fantastic. It's, she's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's classy. She's quality. Right. She's for me. She's for you. That's it. That's you hear it. that, ladies? All you ladies that are chasing him on TikTok, it's over. It's over. It's done. Hey, it's my That's show. It. Let me finish. <laughs> it's over. It's done. Sandy Blue Eyes is off the market. John, what do you think about that? I'm kind of curious about that lunch date that you had with her son. What made him want to introduce you to his mom? Because he liked him. I know he liked him, but like, what do you think it was about you that he liked so much? Well, he told me. He said that he saw... You know, the way on the TikToks and everything, you saw the way I dressed, you saw the way I spoke, he saw that I was old school, I was very respectful, uh, I didn't use vulgar language in front of women, you know, and uh, he just he just thought that I would be a, a, a good match with his mom. And uh, she's a little younger than me, you know, she's about seven years younger than me, but uh, definitely we coincide 100%. You guys click. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you might have had a few rough spots here. Oh, and absolutely. There. Like everybody else, yeah. Yeah. But going through the rough times, yeah. it sort of made us more strong. Well, yeah. Either, as a it, either it makes you stronger or it right. breaks you apart. And we learned. We really learned from each other, you know. Listen to this. So, oh, yeah. Listen to this. He's a changed man. Changed man. Absolutely. This man who and was unbelievable, a vagabond. And she lives <laughs> maximum three hours away. She lives three hours away yeah. from you. And I'm on that Bell Parkway, stopped in traffic. Go on your way to uh, Brooklyn. Oh, uh, Jersey. Now. Jersey. Jersey, yeah. And uh, it's worth it. How often She's do you go see it. her? Well, we see each other a lot on the weekends. You know, sometimes she'll come out to my house also. You know, but... We see each other uh, quite a you know quite a few times. Now I, I got to ask you, Sandy. Before we get into your relationship, we know that you have these quirks about you. <laughs> Sandy gets his hair cut every forty three days. Forty four. Excuse me. Forty four days. Hairport. Hairport. Right. You get your. Where do you get your hair cut? Hairport. Hairport. Port Jefferson, Long Island. And it's called Hairport. Hairport. My friend Ray. Your friend Ray, and he's been cutting your hair for how long? 47 years. 47? 
If Ray dies, that's it. It's over. Okay, for Ray you. cannot die. Ray's gonna <laughs> live till he's 150. Ray. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we know about that. This is this is true, folks. I'm not kidding you. You mow your lawn. Uh, how many times every day? No, every every two and a half days. Every two and a half days, yeah. and you mow it one way. Horizontal that- one one time, vertical the next time. This way, the rainwater gets in between the blades of grass, and it and it it moistens the the roots. The roots. Right. Now I have to admit, when I came to your home, you have the go- most gorgeous lawn of all Thank your neighbors. You. And they say that to you, right? Sure, they ask me. They, they've been asking me already. When do I start? What do I do first? <laughs> what do I? And I, I educate them all. Yeah. So you think that mowing this way, that way means a lot? Oh, it does definitely, definitely. That's just for the rain water or the sprinkler system to allow the water to to um, you know. Do you do you get rid of the grass you cut? No, you, no, oh, I only right. cut the top. You only cut the tips because there's far fertilizer in the tips of the of the of the grass. So I mulch it. It's called mulching. Just take the top off, and it refertilizes it. And that's why you have to cut every every two twice and a half a week. days, three times a week, really. Three times a week. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do, Sandy? Because you you cut with the motors, right? Yeah. Uh, the flow, yeah. Now they're they're looking to ban those and have electric motors. How do you feel about that? No, no good. No good. <laughs> no good. But I mean, they're gonna. They're talking about having fines. People who don't do it. If I have to go, if I have to go to an electric, it, it, it they still mulch. Yeah, it's the same thing. It'll, it'll still mulch. And for the people who saw his first episode a while ago, you still have your. I know you used to go to Costco's and buy three hundred eggs. Right, five hundred eggs. I apologize. <laughs> five hundred eggs. Right, and you have six egg whites every morning. Every morning, I cut it down from eighteen to six. Just yeah, I just I just wanted to just cut it down. Cut your diet down. Yeah, oh. cut the protein down. Eighteen to six. I'm doing six egg whites every morning. A little bowl of yogurt, a little bowl of fruit, five almonds still. Five almonds. That's it. Not four. Not six. Five. <laughs> five almonds and. Uh, Dinner, it's your chicken sometimes. Sometimes chicken, yes. Sometimes salmon. Same place. You go get that chicken, same place for how many years? Same place since 1973. So you walk in, they know what you're getting. Oh, yeah. They have it all made. They see the car pull up. The same Nova. And the Nova pulls up, the turquoise Nova, they know what to put in the bag. Now, does this, your craziness, which I call it, which I laughed, does that get in the way with your lady? Does she ever go, are you out of your mind? No, when... absolutely not. As a matter of fact, she's the same way. She's, uh, she's a personal trainer. She's physically fit. Oh. She's very fit, and she, she watches her diet also. So that's another thing where we coincide. So you, when you guys go out to eat, you really watch what you eat? When we go like to, uh, out to bre- for breakfast, right? it's egg white omelets with all vegetables, no meat. Right. But but excuse me, Mr. Sandy Blue Eyes. When we go out and we're on the road, you eat like a mutavan. <laughs> uh, so I want to know, where is this like healthy thing? Well, that's where I cheat. When we're on the road, I cheat a little bit. You cheat a little bit. Yeah. But as you know, in the mornings where we stay, right. I'm always in the gym. You're in the gym, you're working out. I'm working out. I'm on the, um, I'm on treadmill. the treadmill. Right. And uh, so you do work out, but uh, you've been known to cheat a little bit. I do, yes, I do cheat here and there. And when you do cheat, then you come home and you get right back on the wagon again. That's correct. Um, I'll miss a couple of dinners. You'll miss a couple yeah, if of I, dinners. If I, if I gain three, because we're on the road, I'll miss a couple of dinners and I'll lose six. Right. So I always want to stay ahead of the game. So when you talk about this woman, Sandy Blue Eyes is off the market, folks. <laughs> Off the market. When you talk about this woman, this incredible woman who I met, and she mm-hmm. she is incredible. I, I, I what makes her so different than all these other women that I've seen you with over the years? Everything. 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 I mean, the minute I saw her. Um, no, wait. Hold on. Don't tell me it was a love at first sight. 
I can't say it was love at first sight because I don't believe in love at first sight. But you, you, it you, was attraction at first. Attraction sight. at yes, first definitely. sight. Okay. okay, it was definitely chemistry at first sight. So you had chemistry. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even the way, you know, some 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 fellas don't care. I care. The way she dresses, just of course, I yeah. never even had to like tell her what I like. She, not not to tell her how to dress. Right. But just to tell her what I like, because everything she wears, you like. I love. So she never wore anything where you went, honey. I, I, I never. Could you go back and change that? No. Okay. No. She wears the makeup you like. She wears. Yeah, she doesn't wear a lot, but she yeah, wears the enough. Earrings. Oh, the hoop yeah. earrings. The, ex- the hoop earrings. Hoop earrings. This guy is from the '60s, folks. You are like carved out of the '60s. You like the long hair with the hoop earrings. She wears the. Beautiful shoes, and she's just she's just incredible. She just, you know, she's just top quality for me. She's top quality. You know, she's 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 intelligent. You know, it's just not just the looks. Even though the looks, yeah, they knocked my socks off. Her, her, her. I hope she's listening. Her, you know, she's very attractive. Cause what? You mm-hmm. know what you did, honey? You took them off the market. But, <laughs> but she's super intelligent. Super intelligent. Super intelligent. Yes. She has a good job. She has an excellent job. Makes a lot of money. Absolutely. Does very well. Yes. That's nice. She's not always on your back asking for things. No, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, she she wants to take me out sometimes, and I, I refuse, and she wants Why? to fight with me. Why? Because he's old school. That's right. Because he is the king That's of right. old school episodes. Am I right, John? Yeah, I mean, I love this. I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, this is a different man. I don't think I, I recognize him. Am I right or wrong? Right, absolutely so right. When you, let me ask you a question. So, when you're out with your your lady, and when we're not mentioning her name for a reason because she doesn't need this publicity here right now. People calling her friends, whatever. Um, when you're out with your lady, what makes you feel that you can't let her pay? Why is that? I, I just, I just don't. Uh, I don't think it's a woman's place to take out money, especially she works so hard for her money. She has right. bills to pay. Right. And I just I just feel uncomfortable. I think that's the perfect word. You feel uncomfortable. Yeah. You My- don't feel uncomfortable when, when I go out with you <laughs> and I pick up the check. How come he doesn't feel uncomfortable, I John? tried to do that a couple of times, and I got yelled at, John. Wait a minute. I let you do it a couple of times. Yeah, you did. For your birthday. For was my right. birthday, well, I let right. him do it. Right. All right, I, I was just curious. So, I, I, how do I say this? This is it. No, oh, this is definitely it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is it. This is it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandy Blue Eyes is officially off the market. Yeah. I mean, you realize what this could do for your fans. That's okay. Fans are going to be upset, Sandy. She's my biggest fan. She's in love with me, and I'm in love with her. You're in love with her. Oh, yeah. So I have a question, and I don't know. We could take this out if you're uncomfortable answering I'm this. not uncomfortable with anything. But Go ahead, John. Our mutual friend, Mike, was talking to us. He said Chaz butt-dialed him one time, and he said Chaz's butt-dial left Mike a voicemail. And in this voicemail, you and Chaz are talking, and you just hear Chaz go, what the fuck you mean she wants to be buried with you? <laughs> <laughs> What was that voicemail? Well, that's a true story. What happened was... I couldn't believe that. Fucking you son of a bitch. What happened was my family has a plot in St. Charles Cemetery for 30 people. My uncle had bought the plot, and he said, you know, I know people get married, who uses it, who doesn't use it, but it's there. So my girlfriend and I had a, you know, we, we spoke, and she said that she would love to be buried with me. And I brought this up to my cousin. My, my uncle is deceased now. So my cousin runs the whole plot thing. And uh, yeah. yeah. And she, uh, my, my cousin okayed it. And she said, yeah. She wants to be buried with you. Yeah. Absolutely. I, uh, I'm stunned. Well, that's love. I'm stunned. I have to say, you're a changed man. <laughs> Since we've been on the road, Early to bed, early to rise. That's right. No going out. No more doing anything. No. I don't believe in that. 
One thing about Sammy, you know, he's got that OCD. Women come over, want to talk to him. Boom. Shuts it right down. That's right. I'm a little shocked. That's right. I learned I learned from you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm married 30 years. Still. Love is love. Yes. Yeah, but I have to say, you uh you talk to talk, but you walk the walk. Thank you. Yes. I don't believe in, you know, my father was true blue to my mom, and that's how I learned. Right. And uh I you know, when I'm in a relationship, that's it. That's it. Now you and I come, we, we grew up, we're, you know, Brooklyn, Bronx, but I grew up much more open than you did mm. because being in the arts when I was very young, like my wife was an actress right? and uh, <clears throat> my wife obviously is beautiful and well, I saw her Absolutely. on, I saw her on, uh, do shows and I saw her kissing many guys. You can never handle that. Uh, no, I don't think I would like that, no. No. So she's an actor. Yeah. She's successful. Yeah. She's doing really well. And if you fell in love with a woman like that, you would say you got to quit your job? No, I mean, that's... I, I, I don't think I would say that. You know, it's, it, would be a, it would be very uncomfortable for me, though. You probably wouldn't fall in love with her. You would stop yourself, probably. No, no. Well, no, you can't. You can't stop yourself. No. I mean, do you believe that women should have male friends? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, my girlfriend has a lot of male friends. Sure. Oh, okay. Did yeah. you, is your girlfriend okay to go out with her friends with, to dinner or out? Oh, absolutely. You don't mind that? No, I don't. You could be home relaxing and she goes, yeah, I'm going out with the girls. Sure. You're cool with that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. All right. I think that's fair. But I only... <laughs> But what? There's 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 a little bit of a, a line here though. What is the line? I like I like like especially for my girl to go out with her friends to to a nice refined restaurant, sit at a table with the girls. Yeah. Have cocktails at the table. Oh, so now you're telling them how to have their evening. No, now. this I'm telling you what I would prefer. Right. Have cocktails with the girls at the table instead of filtering to the bar. Because the bar is is when 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 women hang out at a bar, that's like, for me, this is just me. It's like an invitation. Okay. What about if there's no tables available yet, right. and the guy goes, "Ladies, have a drink at the bar. You tell be ready in twenty minutes." Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. No, I'm talking about if they're at the table already, and they filter to the bar. Okay. Does that make it a crime? No. It it would just. I just don't like it. I mean, you don't like it. You don't like it. it, would, it I, see, we have this argument many times, him and I. I say the best way to keep a woman is to set her free. But you don't get it. You, Because no man could stop a woman from doing anything she really wants to do. Can't. No, I would never. Listen, and she's not the kind of girl that you tell you can't do this, nor would I do that anyway. Right. But I would, I give my input on what makes me uncomfortable. And I know what makes her uncomfortable. And I would never do what makes her uncomfortable. What makes her uncomfortable? Like, um, you know, she doesn't want me uh, uh, hanging out with other women or, 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 or checking other women out. No, but when we yeah. go out, right? when you and I go out, let's so say it like it is right now. Go ahead. We, we go, sit at a table, or we'll go to the bar and talk to people, and there's women there. Right. Okay, so you don't do anything. Why can't she go with her friends just happen to be at a bar? Because I know how guys are, that's why. Oh, but you're okay to do it, but she can't. No, because when, when women are at a bar, then guys, what they do is like, like for instance, a guy will send her a drink. Let's say a guy, let, yeah. let's just pinpoint her. All her friends are attracted. All her friends are very nice. But let's say they sent, a guy sends her a drink. And she'll take that drink. I know her. She'll take that drink and she'll find out who sent the drink. And say thank you. And she'll say thank you, but I can't accept this drink. I have a boyfriend. I'm with somebody. Now, when she goes back to the table, and if that fella comes over and says, yeah, but I don't see him here. What's the big deal? She'll tell him a thing or two that I'm not going to repeat right, so, on So him. then what are you worried about? No, I'm not. It's just that so then, I don't like that uncomfortableness. That's Well, all. you know what? You know what, Sandy? You know what? 
pull up your trousers, be a big boy, and learn how to take it. Okay? And stop being a little baby. Okay? That's not being a baby. That's, that's... You cannot control... No, you can't. You cannot control a woman's life. Right. Okay? And I, I, I've been telling you this for years. The best way to hold on to a woman, set her free. If she comes back, great. If she doesn't, then it wasn't meant to be. No, we... We have, we, we do. We have a. So you, but you have an agreement. You don't see other people. Oh, absolutely not. No. Absolutely. No. Not. We're, we're exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. I haven't heard that word in 40 years. I don't oh, think yeah. I've ever heard him say it. Exclusive. Yeah. How about 50 years? We're keeping company. How about that? Oh, that's, that was my father. <laughs> yeah. You keep a company with her? That was my father. Yeah. 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 That's pretty amazing. Now we have, uh, we're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. We're not only on the same paragraph, we're on the same page. You're on the same line. Yeah. Yeah. And believe it or not, from those couple of things that we went through, we I could see. I could see how I try not to do those things. I could definitely see how she tries. Because you have a temper. Yeah. A temper with my mouth. Oh, with your mouth. Right. Oh yeah. No, you never would touch a woman. Oh, word. never. You have yeah, I mean somebody can get you mad with your mouth. Right. Uh, you know, and she has a temper being Italian. Yeah, well, we both have very strong personalities. Right. So, you know, that's when we were clashing instead of coinciding. So, right. So now, you know, we've learned. I yeah. can see it. I can see that we've learned. You know, like, like I, I let some things go. I don't, I don't, I don't say. I let some things go. You hear what he said? Who is this? Who is this person? I was explaining to John that, like, sometimes she's in the car and we're, we're having a conversation. Right. And she'll see something happening ahead, like in front of her. Yeah. Like two people arguing, like trying to cut each other off. Right. She'll break the conversation that we're having to, to, to interrupt us. Yeah. To talk about these two crazy people. Yeah. And I say to her, you're alone in the car. Get away from them. Just go around them. Sandy, that's called life. I know, but still. Let me break this to you. No. You know, you're a narcissist sometimes. No, that's, that's not true. No, it is true because you want all the attention on me. No, I just don't like being interrupted. I don't like breaking conversation. But people break conversation all the time. For two people cutting each other off? That's life. I talk to you, then I turn. I go, hey, John, that's breaking conversation. It's called life, my man. You got to fucking grow up. No. No, oh. that's, I'm, I'm very grown up. No way. You're no very way. grown up. No way. It's like the people that try to... Um, what? Finish your sentence before you get there. I, I, I hate that. It's I called life, Sandy. That. No, it's not. How come I don't do it to what, people? Because you're crazy. <laughs> we all know that. You cut your fucking lawn three times a week. You only cut the tops. You buy 500 eggs. You go to the same barber for 47 years. You make him cut all the hair off your body. You're fucking nuts. <laughs> I mean, come on. Should I go down the list? How about, how about what I just ordered? What do you mean? The phone. Oh. It's the first time. Listen to this. This is. 2024, he's getting an iPhone. Oh, is, my God. Is, is that scary? Is this scary? Oh, my God. 2024, the first time he's getting an iPhone. It's not by choice either. No, it's not. Not by choice. I told him I'm firing him if he doesn't. This is gone. Let's show the phone. Let's show. Give me the phone. <laughs> Look at this phone, folks. Huh? You know who used to use this phone? Richard Nixon. Okay? In Watergate, I think he had a phone like this. <laughs> Look at this phone. It's a joke. He would call me. He was in one room. I was in the other. On the same floor, he couldn't reach me. Come on. Come on. Next Friday, we get the new phone. I said, Sandy, you can't work for me unless you get a phone. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Well, plus they're shutting me down. April 2nd, they're shutting me down. That's right. Because it's only a 2G. 2G he's got. <laughs> the step above, the step below that is carrier pigeon. <laughs> Okay? 2G. Anybody hear about anybody with 2G? That's from here to around the corner. Okay, what a fucking joke. So the other day, my girlfriend and I, we, 
we walked into a phone store. We did our homework. And then uh, I walked into another phone store out by where I live. Right. And we ordered the phone. Wow. How, how did you feel after you ordered a smartphone? No, I feel good. I mean, you know, I, uh, you know, it, it is time, you know, but I'm a little, a little li- nervous, a little nervous, a little like, yeah, I don't want to, you know, yeah. make mistakes and you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Sandy, now that we all know that you're off the market, <laughs> I, I had to bring this, I had to have him on the show because he's going to be doing more TikToks till he'll be back. We've been traveling so much, but Sandy's going to be back on TikTok. The word of the day was a big hit. Talking about old school. school. yeah. This is the epitome of old school. Folks, he doesn't dress like this just for today. He dresses like this every day. <laughs> every day, he dresses like he just fell off a wedding cake. That's right. Okay? <laughs> every day. I go, Sandy, my God, give it a rest. But you always want to be respectable. Yes. Absolutely. You always think first impression is the last. That's right. You never and get a second chance to make a never get a, a second chance to make. Uh, is there anything you want to, before we leave right now, and is there anything you want to tell your wonderful lady? There's the camera right there. Is there anything you want to look in that camera and say to her? Yes. I'd like to say I love you with all my heart and soul. And I was, n- I was not complete until you entered my life. Sandy Blue Eyes is off the market. Sandy, I had to tell the world this. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm proud and I'm honored and thank you. You're, you're very welcome. Yes. Thank you for being on the show. My pleasure. Thank you, my brother. Okay, and uh, don't forget, jazzpalmentary.net. Come and see the show. Uh, also, my restaurants, uh, 30 West 46th Street in Manhattan. 264 Main Street. My wine just came out. The Chaz Cabernet. It's really... Three years we're working on this. Finally, it came out. It's great. Also, the cigars. The Bronx Tale Cigars. Look at this case. Collector's Edition. Three years working on this. Uh, I did that with Paul DeSilvio, a great cigar maker from Arthur Avenue and Epic Cigars. We did this together, and uh, a great cigar. It's not because my name's on it. I want quality. That's it. You'll buy it once because of me, but you'll keep it and use it all the time because it's quality. God bless you all, and we'll see you next week.